Hello and welcome back to Sky Factory 4. So, uh, I ended up doing a couple of things. You probably have noticed that there is a like little energy bar over on the uh, right side of the screen. That would be because I built a jetpack. And it has a hover mode, so I can do that. We fun. Alright, uh, I built the, the basically the top tier jetpack. Um, and went over to the Lost Cities dimension to basically farm up a few mobs. Uh, I ended up getting a spider data model. Um, I had only made it, or made it to basic, and it is now advanced since it has started running. So what that tells me is that this thing will increase its own tier as it runs. And the cat... You know, the kitten is scratching at its collar, making the bell ring. In case you were wondering what that noise was. Anyway. So we've got that. That has been making overworldian matter for me. Um, I popped one of these guys in here, and you apparently select what you're going to make with it. So that's interesting. Um, so I've got these guys here to make hellish matter. Bam. What the heck. Alright, so we got that. I'm going to take these. I'm going to put you and you in there to get some gas tiers. And then I'm going to put you and you in there to make some nether wart. There we go. That was what all of that was for. So that theoretically, I should be able to pop over here, put those in, and then go mob. And I can make... Oh, not quite. What am I missing? Oh, a couple of emeralds. That's easy enough. I'll get way too many. Put that away. And... Bam! Mob duplicator. Alright, so I've got the mob duplicator. I now have a mob imprisonment tool. So now, all I need... is basically one of the mobs. And I'm gonna have to kill, it looks like, six in order to get from the faulty, which won't run in the thing, to basic which will then improve itself. So we don't necessarily need to do a whole lot. Um, are you running? You do not appear to be running. All right, we'll do active on redstone signal. Active without redstone uh, signal. All right, you are, there we go. All right, what do we got? Ooh, we got some some of these. So that does mean that the mobs we are after, ooh, spider head. Uh, the mobs we are after do spawn in here. That is, ooh, that is good. Um, oh, I didn't realize there was a hole here. I might have to do something about that. Um, let's turn you on. And see what we got. Oh, okay, I don't really want to deal with any of those. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, yeah, we're not dealing with that. Clear those guys out. There we go. What about anything else? That's another one of you. We'll just go ahead and let you do that. There we go. All right. So that's all cleared. Uh, we'll turn the hover off. All right. So what we need, I think, is to take one of these, turn it into that. Take that, put it with that. Oh, maybe? I thought that was the right thing. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's got to be the that. Okay, so... Oop, not that. Hover. <laughs> Hover so I don't die. There we go. Alright, pop back over here. We just need to make the thing then. So what do we have there? Um, you need crushed obsidian and redstone, so... There we go. That's, that's, that's... Let's see. Can we do that? No. Because, so we need... Do, 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 do. Petrothium, dust, bam, done. We will use one of those with that. And there we go. Thermal elemental data model. Now I just need to get a few of them to spawn. Which is what this can be used for once I get the mob duplicator, you know, set down someplace, yada, yada, yada. Um, I need to basically capture one. And since there are stuff spawning over here, we can find out if one spawned. They apparently don't spawn wow. too often. Wow. 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 Wow.
Well, I don't hear the telltale noise of any of them. There we go, let's get a bunch of them. Well done. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And I guess... Hmm, is there going to be a better way to get one of these dudes to spawn? That might be a good question. Is there some way of making this spawn that doesn't involve having one in the first place? Let's find out. Alright, let's see. So... Spawn. Uh, what do we got? There is a monster spawner from... A, okay, that whatever that is. Uh, what are you? Prevents natural spawning. Monolith of spawning. Don't know what that one is. Let's see what you are. Increase the amount of natural mob spawns in the chunk it is placed in. Additional mobs will have more health and attack damage. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Spawn detector. Ender wing. No. Seeks out spawners. Spawns on a torch wherever it lands. Target dummy spawner. Those won't despawn. Capturing. Makes mobs have a chance to drop their spawn egg. Interesting. Not exactly what I need. Alright, so how about... What was that thing? Um, what are they called? Uh, blitz? No, it wasn't the Blitz one. It was the other one. Uh... It's not the blizz. Oh, actually, you know what? There are seeds. Seeds. Why didn't I think of this before? Uh, blitz. Seeds. Corn, niter, gunpowder. This should be doable, right? Um... No, I don't get it. Alright, so... Let's try that. Do we have the stuff... To make that? I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. I have none of that in here. Niter. I can crush gunpowder. Alright, so I just need some gunpowder. Well, I got plenty of that over here. Do 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 Don't know why I didn't think of this. Okay, yeah, you just need to be turned back on. Wow. 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 And a couple of you. There we go. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. So here we go. I didn't think about that type of mobs having seeds. So let's see. We need to turn one of this into niter. One needs to stay the gunpowder. Alright, and there we go. And then I needed corn seeds. Do, 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 do. Alright, so I should have some corn seeds here somewhere. Corn, corn. Corn seeds. Excellent. And. Blitz. Seeds. There we go. Grows on grass. Okay. So that means I should be able to get a grass block here somewhere. I probably have grass in my system, right? Probably. Maybe. Oh, yeah. A few. All right. So I guess I will come outside. Just in case of mishap. We will come outside. And I will set this here. Uh, you can go there. And can I speed you up with this? Why, yes, I can. Do, 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 at least to a certain extent. Come on. Come on, Mr. Blitz. Come on. 
Just get this guy to grow a little bit, and we will be good. Come on. 57. Don't get stuck there. I wonder if I can just use bone meal. By the time I run to get bone meal, I'd probably be able to just fix this. I see. If I do that, there we go. It turns it on. Oh, look at that. All right, there we go. Mature. All right, let's get you out of my hand, you into my hand. I will break that and capture it. Excellent, and it only makes one. All right, so there we go. This was not worthless in any way. I just found an easier way to do that. Um, I probably could have done some other things, but let's go ahead. Um, do we want to make ourselves another little spawn room? I kind of do. Let's do this. Let's get our building gadget out. All right, what are we going to set you to? Um, seven looks good. Let's do horizontal wall for the moment. Actually, there should be a better option, isn't there? Um, build to me, vertical column. Hmm. All right, well, let's do this. There we go, that's probably about right. And now we need vertical wall. Like so. There we go. There we are, all right. Let's go ahead and take those out. And then we will go ahead and Say I would like a horizontal wall. I don't have enough things. All right, let's go get ourselves a bit more cobble. Do 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 do. All right, uh, cobble 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 chameleon. All right. Do 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 do. Bop on. Oh, you actually didn't finish that. Well, um, hmm. Hang on, let's, uh, well, let's get that. There we go. And I should finish this, but I don't think I have the cobble. Not quite. Let's pop back in. Looks like I needed maybe eight. There we go, eight. Do 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 do. Pop back this way. Not that direction. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Get that out of my hand. Now let's see. I'm going to need. Oh, I'm going to need several things. Most of which I think can be provided by the quantum entangleloper. Maybe. You know what? I don't need a whole lot of these. Let's just set this up in a totally temporary manner. Um, active on redstone signal. We'll put you in there. Do -do 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 -do. We are going. I have a bucket. I have a bucket. We can. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. I guess I can't wow. bucket out of there. All right. Give me a wow. minute. I will figure this out. Wow. Okay, I am back. In the end, I ended up deciding to just go ahead and set this up in a temporary manner. I've, buck I've bucketed in some uh, <clears throat> essence that I just basically set up this guy over here to be able to export. It's dumping it into the Sirtis Quartz tank that I already had. Um, I am going to need, however, to go up top and get this lit, because this is not lit. So let's hit F7. We'll hit through the corners, see if that's enough. Looks like that's enough. I'll throw one somewhere in the middle anyway. Um, we don't actually need this area to not be lit, so I guess I'll go ahead and light that as well. Um, do, 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 do. We got that. I made sure I put the uh, thermal elemental data model in there so that it is ready to go. And let's turn you on. You are going to be duplicating. Ooh, you are quite tall. Not quite. There we go. Ow. Not quite. Alright. There we are. Okay. 
go ahead and do this. Oops. Okay, so apparently those torches are really poorly positioned if I wanted them to actually stay in place. There we are. All right, how we doing? Uh, do, do, do. We need three more. And I'm on my last sugar donut. Hmm. I should probably do something about that in the future. All right. Back to killing. We're just going to kind of do this the safer way. When I say safer... Because, you know, not really safe when you're fighting mobs this way. But, by doing it one at a time, I am at least making sure I'm not getting too overwhelmed. There we go. Thermal Elemental Data Model reached the basic tier. Now I can just let it run on its own. And theoretically, that will be enough. Alright, let's... Over here. Uh, ah, the spider one was in the way anyway. Let's just go ahead and pop you in, pop you out. Hey, look at that advanced. Spiders defeated 11. Defeat 26.4 more to reach superior. Alright. Bam. We've got that. Now, what we need... Uh, we'll get that out of there. Let's go ahead and grab you guys. Um, I'll throw you in there for the moment. Let us go ahead. I guess I'll just grab some regular donuts for the moment. Nom nom nom. All right. Uh, doot 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 doot. You're all good. All right. We need more of that clay, the polymer clay. I made a whole bunch. So, all right. Now, if we can get even just one out of this. Then we will have what we need. Bam. All right. Huh. Launching runtime. Iteration one started. Loading model from chip memory. Assessing threat level. Engaged enemy. Pristine procurement fa failed. Processing results. Bam. All right. Here we go. Iteration two. And it'll it'll get better. The pristine chance will go up as the tier goes up. So we've got that going. Hey, succeeded this time. All right, I was just waiting to see if that happened. Because otherwise I was going to have to wait. All right, so I'm going to grab that pristine. We're going to get you guys out of here. These, This one goes in. We need this. Bam, there's our blizz rods. Excellent. Okay, so I think that's basically all I'm going to need. Because now from this point, anything I have left over I can duplicate theoretically. I'm going to go ahead and leave that thing running. Uh, make it better, just in case we end up needing stuff. You, whoop, you become that. And now, we need cryothium. Cryothium dust. I don't have snowballs. I can make a thing to make snowballs. Or I could come see if we got another pristine. Because that could give me snowballs, too. Uh, not yet. I do not yet have one. All right, so I need Snowball, huh? Snowball. What are the other options? I mean, of course, there's... Freezy... What? Froster. Okay. Loot Fabricator, of course, can get it from that. Um, looks like that's my main option there. Is that. Okay. That doesn't look too hard. Um, of course, that's still running. What is this? Oh, here we go. It's a, It's got the little progress bar on the side for saying how much data it has collected so far. Neat. 8 of 48. All right, that's before it upgrades its tier. That's kind of neat. All right. I'm glad that it actually shows me that without having to pull it out and look. Um, What else do we got? What else could we do? So we need the snowball. This thing seems to be the best option. Can we... Do this. Uh, do, do, do. Gold gear. Oops, nope, it won't let me go back that far. Um, machine output. Now, will this automatically grab? No, it won't. Alright, so I need buckets. 
two of them, and a bit of water. Water is easy enough to find. See, that's the thing, is like, it's, theoretically there's water in the system. Except that there's not actually water in the system. Um, where did my infinite water everything go? Ah, there it is. I'm trying to remember where I put things. I haven't needed this in a while. Alright. So let's pop back over here. Get this guy made. Froster. Blamo, I'm going to need one of you. Alright, Slush Puppy. Alright, let's just kind of stick you here for the moment. You are going to want water and energy. Energy is easy enough. Let's just get a flex point. Bop you there. Just tell you to use the network. Alright, you're good with that. Let's go ahead and grab a bucket of water. Actually, what... Are you set to make something specific? Uh, there we go. Snowball. I need snowballs. Bam. Why you like this? What? what, what why you like this? There we go. Alright. We will put you in. And... There's the snowball we need. Alright. Now, back to the cryotheum. Cryotheum. Bam. All right. <sighs> now, how do I melt you? The melter, right? Let's see if I can make that work. Hopefully, you don't need more than this. Melter. Give me that. Do your melty McMelt thing. In fact, do it faster. It's a quarter bucket. We can do this. We just need one more. We should already have everything. Got some snowballs. We need to just turn you into that. And then you into that. There we go. We even have all the stuff we need to make a third batch if we need it. Alright. So here we go. We got that. That's a bucket. Now, can I bucket you out? I can bucket you out. Beautiful. So you, with the two of you, there we go. Cryostabilized flux duct. That is what we were after. Now, I'm going to grab you boys. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And you. And let's set you up out here. We are going to say, I would like, around here, I believe, one, two. And I'm going to take these two and go one, two. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Now, on the back side here, I'm going to take the flux plug. This is the one that puts into the network. You are transferring infinite amounts into the network. You are currently transferring 2.4k. Sounds about right. Now, er, alright, so these ducts are able to transfer infinite amounts. This plug is able to transfer infinite amount. These all produce 400 apiece. There we go. That is what we were after. Now, I just need one more thing. I need a flux point. Uh... Point. We're removing energy from the network. And now I come down here and I say, You, um, is this the top? That's the top. Input. Input from the network at infinite speeds. And, alright, we're full, so I don't really know. <clears throat> but, now, all of that is feeding into our ultimate energy cube. What does that mean? Well, that means that basically it's going to be able to feed into the parabox just fine. It's going to supply all the rest of our stuff just fine. I can probably, in point of fact, turn this guy off. 
Let's turn you off. And we will grab this. Oop. Gotta be careful with that jetpack on. Uh, you. Input from that side, please. There we go. You're gonna start filling. Bam. All right. So now we should, theoretically, be running the entirety of the base off of the RTGs. And now, every time I do a time loop, I'm going to be able to duplicate these six out. You know, so I'll get those six RTGs, I'll get these two cryo, uh, the, you know, cryostabilized flux ducts, and in fact, it'll go exponential. I'll be able to just keep it going every time I do a time loop. And that's going to basically provide all the power I need for pretty much forever. I'm going to have to currently run the reactors and stuff during the time loop, but that will quickly go away on its own. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here. Hey, we've gotten three more of these. Look at this. This is going. It's almost there to the next tier already. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to have to figure out what we're doing next, since I have basically just solved the power problems so long as I you know, pay attention during my time loops. Don't know what I'm going to do next. I'll figure it out. But that's for next time. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>